Right, okay, so today um, I want you to have a go at some work based on what we covered um, last week. So I want you to have a go at some questions based on the kinematics of a particle moving in a straight line with variable acceleration. So remember it was looking at integrating and differentiating. Okay, um, so from the questions I'm going to set you, I'm just going to go through question one with you. Okay, so it says... Um, a particle p moves on the x-axis at time t seconds, the velocity of p is v, and v is 2t squared minus 14t plus 20. Okay, um, so that's in the direction of x increasing, and it's for t greater than or equal to 0. So part a, if you look at the question, says the times when p is instantaneously at rest. Okay, so remember at rest implies that v is equal to zero. All right, so if I just skip to my visualizer now so that you can see. Okay, there you go. Uh, so if you skip to the visualizer, um, at rest is when v is equal to zero. Sorry about that. Um, so what I can do is I can solve the equation by substituting v for 0. So I've got 0 equals 2t squared minus 14t plus 20. Okay, um, so t squared minus 7t plus 10 if I divide by 2, factorises to t minus 2t minus 5, and so I get t is equal to 2 seconds, p is equal to 5 seconds. So both valid times, okay? So what this means is that t equals 0, it's heading in the positive direction, and then at 2 seconds it changes direction, okay? So it must travel back, and then at 5 seconds it changes direction, so it's kind of flitting forwards and back, and at the times that it's at instantaneously at rest, it's 2 and 5 seconds. Um, part B of this question then now says the greatest speed of p in the interval of 0 to 4 okay so again greatest speed we want to be thinking about um sorry about what this graph looks like okay so it's a quadratic graph and we know it goes through the x axis at t equals 2 Oh, sorry. At t equals 2 and t equals 5. And we also know from the equation, t equals 2 squared minus 14t plus 20, that it has to go through the y-axis at 20. So here, at t equals 0, the speed has to be 20, okay? So when t equals 0, the velocity is 20. Now, what we need to work out here, we can see it's decreasing, but because it asks us for the greatest speed is we need to work out what this minimum velocity here is. Because if that ends up being greater than zero, uh, sorry, greater than 20, so like anything that's smaller than minus 20 would be a speed that's greater than 20, then that would actually be the greatest speed. And because the question has asked us from 0 to 4 seconds, we can see it starts to increase. So the only thing that it could be where it would possibly have a value that's greater than 20 is this minimum point here and that's all to do with the shape of the graph so remember thinking about your core um, work this is the minimum point so if I want the minimum point if I want to find the minimum point I can put dv by dt which is actually the acceleration as well equal to zero so if I was to differentiate that um, 2t squared I'm looking up here differentiates to 40 Okay, I'm just going to write dv by dt here. Okay, um, minus 14t differentiates to minus 14, and the plus 20 would disappear. So now what I can do is I can solve 40 minus 14 equals 0. That takes me to t being 14 over 4, or 7 over 2, which means this minimum point here occurs at 7 over 2, 3.5, and remember we wanted to go up to 4. Okay, so... If I know that t is 7 over 2, I can now use my equation for v. v equals 2t squared minus 14t plus 20 
substitute in t equals 7 over 2 in. So I've got 2 times 7 over 2 squared is going to be 49 over 4. Minus 14 times 7 over 2 plus 20. So it's going to give me 49 over 2. Um, minus 49. 40, yep, yep, plus 20, okay, so 49 and over 2 minus um, 49 is going to give me, if you think about it, is the decimal minus 24.5, so if I add 20, it's going to give me minus 4.5 or minus 9 over 2, so the speed at this minimum point or the velocity at this minimum point, I now know is minus 9 over 2, okay, um, which which therefore its speed is 4.5 metres per second, so the greatest speed is still at V equals 20, so we can confirm now that the greatest speed in the interval from 0 to 4 has to be at 20 metres per second. Okay, um, if you look, this graph is going to carry on all the way up here. So after five seconds, um, if it is still moving, okay, it would continue and it would be greater than 20 up there. Okay, but the greatest speed for that one is 20 meters per second. Um, now, part C, if we look at part C, so let me flick out, flick back, says find the total distance travelled by P in the interval from zero to four seconds. Okay, so again, I'm just before I start this, I'm just going to flick to my graph that I've just drawn. Okay, so the total um, distance that it would travel, remember, if this is a velocity time graph, the distance or the displacement would be the area under the graph. Now, thinking back to your core work, um, if we were to integrate this part here, we'd get a positive value. And if we were to, because this is the still the line of t equals 4, if we were to integrate this part here, we would actually get a negative value because a negative value tells us it lies below the graph. So what we need to do here is we need to integrate it between two separate values to find what the total distance is that it's travelled. Okay? So here, what we're going to have to do for part C, um, just let me move this up here, is first of all, we're going to have to integrate it between 0 and 2, okay? So we're integrating the velocity to find an expression for the displacement. So we're going to be integrating 2t squared minus 14t plus 20 uh, with respect to t, okay? Now, think carefully. If we know that we're going to get a negative answer for this bit here, the integral between 2 and 4, if we want to make that a positive, Okay, what we can actually do is take that away. So if we take away the integral from 2 and 4, we know then that minus and minus is going to give us that positive value that we want to find the total distance. So we're going to have to um, take away 2t squared minus 14t plus 20 with respect to t, but between 2 and 4. If you didn't want to write it like that, you could find the answer to this one. You could find the answer to this one. You could remember that that means uh, the negative means it's travelled in the negative direction, and then you could just make that answer a positive and add it on. Okay, and you get exact the exact same value as, as I'm going to get here. So if we integrate this now, okay, we're going to get two thirds t cubed minus seven t squared plus twenty t between two and zero. Okay, and then we're going to get exactly the same, 2 thirds t cubed minus 7 t squared plus 20 t, this time between 4 and 2. Okay, um, so I don't need to put a plus c because this is definite integration, so my plus c's would cancel out when I subtract, so I don't need to do that. Okay, um, and if I put, if I substitute those in now, I've got um, 2 thirds times 2 cubed minus 7 times 2 squared plus 20 times 2. If I put 0 in, because they've all got t's in, I know I'm going to get 0. 
okay and then I'm gonna have to take away put in four in so two thirds times four cubed minus seven times um, four squared plus 20 times four and then I'm gonna have to take away um, two thirds times two cubed minus seven times two squared plus 20 times two, okay? And if I put all of that into my calculator, sorry, it's a bit uh, messed up here, I know that my answer is gonna get, uh, um, it is gonna be 24 meters, okay? So if you put all that in your calculator, you should hopefully get that. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you to do today is work through the rest of these questions. I'm gonna put a Google Doc on, um, classroom and what I want you to do is I want you to tell me what you've got for each question so that I can see whether you've got it right or wrong but what I will do is I will do my solutions to these questions so if you have got it wrong we can then um, compare what you've done to mine and try and see what your error is. If you have got any questions about that just email me and I'll do my best to answer you um, and I can do a google hangout if you need to. Okay I hope that was all right. Um, I'll load the questions as a pdf for you. Thank you.